Hi guys, so this is going to be a short installation guide on how to install the Prism Validator client on a Mac using Homebrew. So it's pretty simple. I'll go through all the steps. You can follow along. So to check if you've got Brew installed, um, right? Brew minus V and you see the version, otherwise you see command not found. So if you don't have it, um, use the script below or the scripts will be linked below. Um, copy and paste it in the terminal, press enter and it will download Homebrew onto your computer. All right, with that done, clear the screen with clear and let's continue with the next step and that's installing the encryption GPG. So, right, brew install GNU PG, G-N-U PG, press enter and that will install um, a GPG on your computer. So you might already have another version, so write brew link uh, GNU PG to link it with the other version and you've got some options here you can use. So clear the screen again and we're going to continue by creating the prism directory. That's going to be important because in the prism directory we have to store the whole beacon chain data. So make sure you've got enough space on your computer. So make their prism, I've already got this directory. So remove it with rm minus r prism and this will remove all the content from that directory. So only use it if you want to delete the prism directory and everything inside. So let's continue by creating a new directory, make their prism press enter, it's going to create the directory um, ls to show all the um, folders and data in that directory, cd prism to change to that directory. And now what we want to do is download the installation prism script from github, press enter. And let's continue. Search for the prism in your finder and drag and drop the prism script into the terminal window and press space and now you're going to want to write beacon minus chain minus minus data dir equal dollar home slash prism press enter and this will download the beacon chain using the prism script it took around uh, 10 11 hours to sync the whole beacon chain um, data with the beacon chain running on the topaz testnet you can see initial sync is complete, synced up to slot 165,074. And now it's syncing all the new blocks and you see your public key and which slot and epoch it's synced with. All right, so let's create the Eve two keys. Create a new terminal window and find the prism script in the finder and drag and drop it into the terminal window. Copy and paste the script and change the password to something else. I use current DeFi and press enter and this will create the GPG raw transaction data that we'll need afterwards to create the public and the private key and copy and paste this raw transaction data. Head over to uh, prylabs.net, um, either click on participate or on the button become a validator. Okay, so here you've got the same steps, but we can ignore most of them. What you want to do is make sure you've got MetaMask installed and get some girly Eve. So click on the button, get girly Eve, click on MetaMask button, and this will open up your MetaMask and you'll get some um, girly Eve. So you get 32 girly Eve that you need for the validator deposit contract. So I've already got that, I can skip this step. Click on generate validator public and private key. Paste the raw transaction data into the input field and press enter. So now what you want to do is send the validator deposit to the deposit contract and click on make a deposit. This will open your MetaMask wallet and check everything and you can see it's a contract interaction. You've got the gas fee, the total amount you've been sending. Click on confirm to send 32 girly Eve to the deposit contract for your validator. As you can see, it's pending. So this is gonna take a few minutes. Um, you can come back when it's done. Now open a new terminal window, and drag and drop the Prism script into the terminal window and paste and copy and paste the validator key store path code, uh, change the password to the one that you selected, press enter, and this will start your validator client. And you can read a bit of the information that is shown. It's actually quite interesting. 
And as you can see, my validator has been activated and I can see the public key. This is very important. I can copy and paste this public key and look at my validator information on the Beacon Chain website. So on the Beacon Chain website, I can paste my validator public key and I'll get all the information about the overview, how much e uh, girly ETH I've got on this validator, um, how many proposed blocks uh, my validator has. Um, I can see the value of my validator, how much rewards I got, um, if I've been slashed, the penalties and so on. So my validator hasn't been um, up for a long time. So that's why I've got a lot of missed um, attestations, but I've already done 29 attestations, which is pretty good. Under income, I can see how many rewards I received. So that was the short installation guide for the Prism Validator client on the Topaz testnet. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. And yeah, maybe tell me if you're interested in an installation guide for Linux on AVS. If um, this video gets a lot of likes and yeah, I will consider creating such a guide for you guys. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.